All right, what's up, guys? So today we're gonna be installing a BNM uh, Pro Shifter. What do you call it? It's not a ratchet shifter. It's a Pro Stick Shifter. So we're gonna be installing this into the Chevelle today. I did a ratchet shifter on the truck, so I'm pretty familiar with this. So it should be pretty easy. But uh, something I didn't do on the truck, which I'm probably gonna do next time around, is people were telling me about these stands. Uh, I got this stand off the of Summit, and it's pretty cool. Uh, I'm probably gonna put a center console over it, but that's why I didn't paint it or powder coat it black, but it actually puts the shifter in like a perfect location. So here, let me get the shifter real quick. So yeah, it puts the shifter in an awesome location. You're not grabbing it off the floor. This is also a lot easier to install. It's just drilling four holes, and you have a, little, a lot more access and stuff for the shifter. Uh, but for me, it just mo mainly put it in like the best position for me. But here, let me, uh, Put the camera on a tripod and show you the stand. I love it. It uh, not only does it look cool, at least I think so, but it just kind of put the shifter in like the perfect location for me. So it feels really comfortable to shift. Whereas before on the truck, I felt like I had to extend my arm, and sometimes I would even have to crouch down to get the shifter. So definitely, I'm gonna have to do this to my truck. But let's install the shifter to my Chevelle now. One thing to note though before you decide to buy this and install it is if you're installing this on a 4060 or 4080 or any like 4 speed GM transmission, you need to buy a different shift plate. Uh, they sell it, I forget the part number, I think it's like 80712. Let's see. So yeah, it's 80712 is the shift plate for this. Uh, Really easy to change out. You undo these bolts, a couple C-clips, put the new plate in, and that's it. Uh, also, I would suggest greasing this up. But apart from that, it should be pretty easy. Also, they don't sell. It doesn't come with the, uh, for at least for a 406 or 65 or 70, you need to buy a different bracket. It doesn't come with the supply brackets already. So you also need part number 70499 uh, to get this all to work. But first thing is first, it's going to be to mount this where I want it. So I'm gonna go do that right now, go figure out, mark holes and bolt it and drill it out and then I'll come back to you once this is mounted up in the car. We'll put the shift linkage on, install it, and then I gotta cut a hole somewhere here, shoot the, sh the, uh, the linkage through, and then attached bracket and that's really it's not too hard these are pretty simple to install now I'm gonna throw the shifter cable on and then we'll see kind of where it falls so I can drill a hole for the the shifter linkage to go through and then we can move on to the bottom side which is kind of gonna suck a little bit because it's underneath so but yeah you just shoot this straight through on a bolt and kind of Finagle it, then just throw, just throw a nut on real quick. So now I can kind of figure out where this will kind of shoot up through. I feel like probably somewhere. Let's see, I don't know if you can really see. So yeah, that's on now. So gonna have to figure out shoot, figure out where I'm gonna shoot the shifter cable through, and then. Yeah, because now I gotta figure out the rounding, whether I wanna like, either like S it, or how exactly I'm gonna do it, because I think I'm right over where I need to be. So I probably need to somehow do an S with this or something, or maybe even get a longer one, but hopefully with this one I should be good. But Okay, okay, so drilled a hole, and I was able to shoot the, uh, the linkage through. Um, kinda wish I had done a little bit more straight, but it is what it is. So there actually is a way to route these cables. Um, so yeah, you can kind of see for GM routing, you kind of go through, up and around, and then to the bracket and then to the linkage. So I've already kind of done that. Uh, it's routed up and around and right here. So now what I need to do is take two bolts off of the trans pan, mount the new bracket, take my old linkage off, put the new linkage on, and then just basically adjust it. So 
I'm also done, but this is also like the messy part underneath. But I think what I'm gonna do first is undo my old linkage, and then after that I'll come back and show you guys how to install the the bracket that goes on the pan, which is pretty easy. It's just two bolts. You undo, you put the bracket on with the spacer, where you put it back on. That's not that's it. Then run the uh, the linkage through it. So yeah, let me take the old linkage off, and I'll be right back. Okay, so it is really hard to film underneath here because I don't have a lot of room. But basically, I already threw on the new, uh, I forget what you call this, the new shifter, uh, whatever, grabby point. Um, but now I need to take these two bolts out, and then what you do is you have the little bracket, and you throw the spacers on first, and then the brackets, and you can bolt it down. And then after that, you run the linkage through it. So I'm going to uh, probably mount the, uh, the brackets right now, and probably come back to you after I mounted the bracket, because... I can't really film much underneath here because I don't really have the car super high up on the ground and it's just it's just really hard to film underneath here so I'll be back once it's on. Alright so sorry if I sound bad or it looks bad I'm recording on my phone but I'm going to tighten those bolts I already put the cotter pin on and that little shift pin on and I've got everything all adjusted I'll link a video down below that B&M has that uh, explains how to uh, how to adjust this cable better than I probably ever would and you can kind of see like a visual. So at this point, I just gotta tighten everything up and try it out. So I'll get back to you once everything's all put together and done. Okay, so I got everything all working. Uh, everything's all adjusted correctly. And yeah, I've already tried this, but I'll show you guys in a minute. Only thing is, uh, if you have a column shift, you'll have to uh, change your neutral safety switch and your reverse lights to, they have switches in this, but I suck at wiring, so I'm gonna let Adrian over at Prado Electric do that for me, but uh, it's basically installed, it works, so that's park, that's reverse, so I'll go backwards a little bit, and then neutral, not moving anywhere, then it's drive, three, two, and one, and uh, everything works, so I think me and Rafa are gonna go uh, do a little cinematic with this thing real quick, but go clean the car up because I made a huge mess with all the fucking hardware and stuff. And yeah, pretty stoked about it. Isn't it? guys so it's been a couple days since I've installed the shifter uh, I've been driving around with it a lot and I'm really happy with it looks amazing feels really good and it's just it's just more fun versus the column shifter so the next thing on this thing is probably gonna be I need to figure out get another seat for this thing um, figure out what Taylor likes so she can cruise with me and then I want to build a center console for it uh, it'd be kind of cool to basically just have let's see the plan is to put like cup holders, like maybe right in front of the shifter, and then have a double D stereo because I'm over not having a stereo in this thing. I, I miss having sound, so that's probably going to be next up. And then I need to clean some of this wiring up. I don't know why, but my two steps not working, so I got to figure that out. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I got a lot of content coming. I actually have a bunch of videos filmed, but they're not like finished yet. Stuff with this car and stuff with the truck. Uh, there will be an update on the truck soon. I hope you guys have been enjoying all the new content, all the videos recently, and uh, subscribe.